Hi, Barbara Grassi, the book boss here, and today we are talking about how to make big profits from little books. Well, first of all, why would you need a book? Well, a book can raise your profile. It can get you seen. It makes you more visible. It gives you authority and credibility. If you've written a book, you obviously have enough knowledge, one, to fill a book, but two, it sets you apart from the others in your field. And this one, I'm kind of iffy on. Everyone's saying, oh, a book is a new business card. Well, yeah, because what happens is people keep moving that free line. At first, it was enough to give somebody, you know, uh, an ebook for free. And then it was, oh, you have to give away your, your entire course for free. And next thing you know, you have to give away your firstborn child for free because everybody keeps upping the ante. And truly, the ante has been upped. More and more people are getting books out there, and I'm talking business people, people who want to raise the profile of their business and to put themselves out there as coaches, as speakers, as CEOs, as people who know how to get business. So a book is a new business card. However, what I'm seeing in the field is a lot of people are writing very poor quality books and just putting them out there. And just like a flimsy, crummy, uh, print at home with a little perforations business card, the book reflects on you. If you've got a crummy little business card that looks like you printed it on your home printer, people are going to think you're really not in business. So what I want to do is show you how to write a book, and it doesn't have to be a big, huge book. People get all freaked out and overwhelmed about writing a book. It doesn't have to be a big, huge book. But you do want to give people quality content and be able to showcase your talents. So let's get with it. Yeah, this is people when they sit down to write a book, they're thinking, oh my God, what am I going to write about? It has to be so big. It's going to take me months, if not years to write a book. Put that out of your head. Okay. We're going to do this easy. So here's the thing about little books. They're fast and easy to write and they serve a very specific purpose. They have a purpose to them. It doesn't have to be broad. It does not have to be an epic book. It just has to serve your purpose. And the good thing about little books is they can be given away for free. They're great lead generators or they can be sold. Basically, either way, you sell them or you give them away. You use little books to increase your bottom line. And that's a cute little pair of bottoms, isn't it? Oh. Okay, so before we start, a little bit about me so you know that I know what I'm talking about. I'm an author, editor, and speaker. I'm also a book coach. I help people write their books. I've written, and really ghostwritten, if you want to include that, over 50 books in the past 10 or so years. Books, ebooks, manuals, and courses. I've written a ton of books. I've also edited even more books. So here are just some of the things that I've worked on. Some I've edited, some I've written, some I've ghostwritten. And it's everything from really real estate investing to internet marketing to even, yes, I've done a memoir, which didn't start out as a memoir, but apparently that's what she had in mind and that's what we did. So let's talk about the types of little books that you can write. The first I'm going to talk about is a promotional book that promotes your business. I like the biggest mistakes or top tips because they really help people, um, one, cut the learning curve, and two, it helps them avoid problems. You've got the review or interview books, compilation books, and then you get into the little $7 reports or white papers. So all sorts of little books that you can put out there. And before you panic, you don't have to be a writer. Little books can be written, spoken, or videotaped. Best of all, they don't have to be created by you. You can always hire a ghostwriter. But you know what? They're really easy to create, and I'd love you to give it a try. So let's use little books to, first of all, drive traffic. Drive traffic to your website or brick-and-mortar business. All the types of books that I just mentioned will help get people to your website. The other thing you can use books for is to leverage your advertising dollar. And I'm going to go into a little bit on this because this is one of those things that just kind of made me crazy when I saw it. The little dollar saver there. It's a little newspaper that they print up and people get it for free, but it's basically an advertising paper. I went through this book 
and there are about 44 ads, including ads for the actual publisher of the magazine. Of those 44 ads, 12 had a website URL listed in the ad. One ad had an email contact that was not connected to a site URL, which means it was an AOL or a Gmail type of email contact. Very bad. You want your email to reflect your business site. Thank you. Okay, now 20% of the companies who were advertising in that book had websites, but they didn't put the website in their ad. Well, that's just dumb, okay? Because your website is a big, huge ad. So if you take an ad that you're spending money on that's maybe a quarter page or even an eighth of a page or a business card, if you can send them to your website, they can get a huge, big commercial for you. Now, of all of these websites, actually, I'm going to go back here for just a minute. Approximately 20 sites had, of, of all those sites, only two had a way to collect names and email addresses. Okay, so people went to their website, and maybe they looked around a little bit, maybe they jumped right off, but only two of those websites could collect names and email addresses. They had an opt-in box in them. One of them, one of those uh, advertisers, had the opt-in box on the front page of the site, which is great, but it was what we call below the fold. It was underneath, so if people didn't scroll down on that page, they never saw the opt-in box. And the other site that had an opt-in box had that opt-in box inside the site. I went through all the pages and finally found an opt-in box. Okay, you use little books as your opt-in prize, okay? It's an ethical bribe. So if you're getting people to your website, one, you've got to put your website in the ad, but two, once you get them there, give them something so you can get their name and their email address so you can contact them and market to them. And that's just basic marketing 101. But it's the type of thing that I still see. I mean, this is still happening. It's the 21st century. So don't do that, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, building your list. And really, that's what we're doing. You're getting people to your site, and you're giving them an ethical bribe. You're giving them uh, a little book. You're giving them a guide. You're giving them a checklist. You're giving them something, and in return, they give you their name and their email address. And you want to gather their names or email addresses and other information. And when you first start out, you just want their name and email address. You don't want to try to grill them. But you want to get that so you can keep them in your pipeline and contact them. You want to stay in front of them. They've made it to your site once. Don't lose them. Another thing little books can do for you is create a relationship. And this is one of my favorite quotes from my buddy Bob Berg. And Bob said, all things being equal, that's important. Everybody always forgets that line. All things being equal, people will do business with and refer people to those people they know, like, and trust. Now, if somebody's daughter is in the same business that you're in, that's not all things being equal. They're going to use their daughter, even if she stinks at it, <laughs> okay? But all things being equal, pretty much comparable price, comparable experience. People do business with the people that they know and the people that they like and the people that they trust. So your book should contain information that's valuable that helps your prospective client. And giving value creates not just goodwill, but it triggers a lot of reciprocity. You've done something helpful for them, and they'll want to reciprocate that. And at the very least, they're now going to look at, upon you with good feelings. They're going to feel warmly about you. That's a good thing. That's warming up your cold leads. Another great thing about little books is they can demonstrate your expertise. Part of the trust part of a relationship is being comfortable that someone is able to deliver what they say they will. A little book is a great vehicle to showcase your knowledge, your follow-through, and your personality. If, for instance, you write a tutorial teaching part of your system, you can offer the rest as an upsell. It's kind of a try-before-you-buy strategy because people can see that you know what you're talking about. You can use little books to start your sales funnel. In marketing, especially when you're dealing with a cold market, you can use a free or low-cost item to introduce people to, to you and to what you do. So it's a great start to your sales funnel, and you'll see some of the big marketers doing this. Most importantly, a little book will separate you from the competition. The average business doesn't take even the first step to reaching out to their target market. Writing a book separates you from every other competitor out there and elevates your status. Believe me, most of your competitors, I will say 90% of your competitors, are not putting a book out there. 
You might have some that already have. Now you're playing catch up. You want to get ahead of the curve. One really cool thing about little books is they can create an income stream. Yay, money. Okay, little books are a huge business. So let's look at the different ways you can make money from your book apart from bringing clients into your business. First of all, it's a $7 special report. You can package and sell your knowledge. And this is usually used for what's called a self-liquidating offer. It actually pays for your advertising. So if you're doing pay-per-click, say on Facebook, and you're selling a $7 special report, that $7 is helping to pay for your ads. A lot of people use it as a tripwire to see if people will actually hand over real dollars to learn something. The person who has used this technique to the nth degree is Ryan Dice. He built his business on selling special reports, $7, and you'll still see him advertising on Facebook, on Google, on LinkedIn, $7 special report. He does internet marketing, and he uses those $7 special reports to finance all of his advertising. It also makes a great little income stream. He's not going to get rich on the $7 report per se. However, it's taking care of his advertising and that advertising brings in more business. The free with shipping and handling. This is great and I've seen it used a couple of ways. First of all, the shipping and handling fee covers the printing cost. They usually charge $6.99 or $7.99 shipping and handling and that actually covers the cost of printing the book. Didn't know books were that cheap, did ya? Okay, now here's the variation, is you can get the ebook for free or you can get the hard copy for just shipping and handling. And that's a great way to get people just to download your book. They've got the option of getting the hard copy, but oh look, we can get this for free? Even better. So you'll see uh, one of the people who uses this really well is Russell Brunson. You might know him from ClickFunnels, he's an internet marketer. He sells all his books free with shipping and handling. And that shipping and handling fee covers the cost of printing. This is not costing him anything when he sends you a free book. And his books, if, you'll, if you've read any of them, all lead you to buying his software. He is a very, very smart young man. Uh, you can also put affiliate links in your books. That's really cool. You didn't know that you could have affiliate links, did you? Of course you did. You've got affiliate links on your site, perhaps, or maybe you're an affiliate for a certain uh, product or service. You can put them into your information product. So if you're writing about a certain topic and you're an affiliate for somebody else, you can put that link in your book. You just have to make sure that at the top of the book you say, hey, there's a few affiliate links in here. If you click and buy from this person, I will get a small referral fee. You always have to tell people whether it's on your website or in a book. But if you're talking, for instance, about internet marketing, you can have links to autoresponders, to hosting companies, to web designers, to various apps. If you're a health coach, you could have links to supplements, prepackaged meals, books on uh, health or working out, gym memberships. You can have all sorts of affiliate links. And some people write books just to wrap them around their affiliate links. They'll become affiliate. They'll become affiliates for uh, a certain niche, and then write an entire book. And just to wrap those affiliate links in there. Very lucrative field. And of course, all of this is being done to promote your business. I like to use promotional ebooks because they tell the what and the why, but not the how. And here's a case study. This is an actual real life case study of my own. I was working with a private money lender, and I just love this guy. And it's name is actually Guy, um, <laughs> which is fantastic. So we're writing a course for him. He was a private money lender. He wanted to write a course to teach other people how to lend money privately. And we wrote the course and I just had such a good time writing the course with him that I wrote a promotional ebook for him too, because I just liked him. So I wrote the book. I said, dude, put this on your website as a lead generator, because if people don't buy your course right away, it was a thousand dollar course. They'll get the little promo book and that will lead them to buy your course. So he hardly had any traffic at his site. Sales of his site, the sales off of his site, just they just sucked, okay? He was just not selling courses. He sold maybe 10 or 12, really not getting his money back on all the time and effort he'd put into building this course. But he said every time somebody got a promo book, they bought the course. 
So somebody bought the promo book and then they bought the course and they read the course and they called them up and they said, you know what? We don't actually want to lend private money because it's kind of hard and it's complicated. It's going to take a lot of time because you have to do all this vetting. I said, can we just give you a couple million dollars to invest for us? Okay, that's like a really good return. <laughs> okay, <laughs> This doesn't happen all the time. It may be a bit of an outlier, but it's really not that much of an outlier because it illustrates exactly what little books can do for you. It's not that you're going to make your money off your book. It's not that the sales of the book at, you know, $2 royalty per book is going to bring in millions of dollars. It's the business that the book generates for you. That's what little books will do for you. They will bring you the right clients, the right prospects, the right people who want to work with you. So you can use little books to generate traffic. All of these books will help you drive traffic to your website. Promotional books also give you authority and credibility. They're great for building your list. They're a great start to your sales funnel. I like uh, the promotional books and I like the mistakes or the top tips books. Same thing. They all drive traffic. They all increase your authority and credibility because you're giving information that shows people you know what you're talking about. Um, the mistakes, the top tips actually help your prospects and clients. It can make them money. It can save them money. So that helps build your relationship with them. They feel warmly about you. They feel like they've gotten some value from you. And that helps you build your list. The interview or compilation style books, uh, you gather credibility because you are now seen interviewing important people in your field. They're seen as your peers. You're on an equal basis with them. So if you're trying to move up a notch, you could interview people that are maybe the next level above you or even two levels above you. And all of a sudden you're gathering their credibility. You're leveraging that credibility. It helps your prospects and clients because they're getting great information. It also helps your relationship with peers because if you ask somebody to be in your book or if you ask somebody to be interviewed uh, for a book, they're going to be flattered. They're going to like you. They're also going to help promote that book to their list, just so you know. And this is, again, all of these are great list builders. The review book is really good because you can set yourself up as an authority. A lot of people do reviews on their websites. They do blog reviews and they're always going through technical aspects of something or they're reviewing courses. They're doing something to help people in their niche. And by reviewing a product or a service, they're setting themselves up as an expert. They're an authority. Special reports also, and actually tutorials. All of these things build your credibility and authority. They showcase your knowledge. They can be income streams. They can help your prospects and clients. Um, one of the best things I like about tutorials is it can give them a part of what you're teaching. If you've got a bigger course or if you, for instance, help people with a certain thing, you can give them something easy to do that brings them into the idea of working with you. If you're somebody who builds systems for businesses, you can give them a fairly simple system to build on their own, show them how it's done, and then if it proves that, oh, you know what you're talking about, look, we've built this system, what other systems can we build? Maybe you work with them one-on-one, -on -one. maybe you have a course that shows them how to build out eight or ten different systems in their businesses. But that first little bit shows them that you know what you're talking about. So all sorts of advantages as far as driving traffic when you're working with little books. But you know, you need an edge. And this is what little books give you. Only 44% of businesses make it past the four year mark. And frankly, I want you to make the cut. And I'll tell you why. Jobs are going away. You have to make your own business. And this is something that I really feel strongly about. I have been unemployable for at least 20 years. Um, I've been working as an independent contractor. I've been working as a freelancer for at least 20 years. And I really feel that this is the way to control your own destiny. You can't count on jobs being there. You can't count on retirement being there. So many pension funds are, are going away. You need an edge. And if you're building a business, first of all, I salute you because it's hard. 
it seems like it's uphill all the time. So if there's anything that can make your job easier, I'm all for it. So definitely keep working at it. You can get this done. So I just want to help you make the cut and get your business past that five year mark. And I know when you're first starting out, it's a struggle and you want to quit and you wonder why the hell you're doing this <laughs> like, day in and day out. It pays off. Keep at it. You can create your own little book. It's fast and it's easy. How easy? Okay. Well, compilation books, and let me tell you what a compilation book is. Compilation books, and you, you might have uh, probably had a friend tell you, hey, buy my book. A bunch of people get together and they each write a chapter of a book. And it might be on real estate or it might be on internet marketing or it might be on, who knows, some aspect of business. But you have anywhere from 6 to 8 to 12 or even I have seen 30 people where everyone contributes a chapter and the person putting the book together writes an introduction. They probably have their chapter up front and they write a conclusion and everybody buys a certain amount of books that they have to either give away or sell. And some people charge to be in a compilation book and some people just ask you to contribute a chapter and then sell the book. And the idea is that with eight or 10 or 12 people all marketing the book, other people from their list are going to see your chapter and say, wow, this person's a genius. I need to contact them. It's a good idea. But let me tell you that putting together a compilation book is not easy. And I realized this um, more a couple of weeks ago when somebody sent me eight chapters of a compilation book and they'd all been contributed by eight different people and each one had a different writing style each one had a level of, uh, gosh, is there a nice way to say it? No. Some of the chapters just sucked, okay? <laughs> the people weren't good. And what happens with a compilation book is you need to get everything up to a certain standard. So the people who sent in chapters that just weren't well written or that were not well organized needed heavy editing. So a lot of money comes in on the editing side of this and I've talked to people who edit compilation books and they will tell you don't take it on so a compilation book seems easy but it's not you think oh great I'll get eight people to write chapters and we'll have a whole book if you want to contribute to a compilation book that's fine you're gonna do your chapter send it in let them worry about the editing however please know that the compilation book doesn't really showcase your talent you're now competing with everybody else in the book as far as getting people to read your chapter and to think you're special. I don't recommend doing compilation books. Was that pretty clear? I bet it was. <laughs> okay. Um, the review interview book is really not a hard book to write. You can review uh, different products and services or you can interview people and interviewing people uh, makes it easy because all you need to do is re record the interviews and then have them transcribed by a company, say like Rev.com, which is my favorite transcription service right now, R-E-V in Victor.com. Um, most, most transcription companies charge a dollar per recorded minute, and that's pretty good. If you're recording interviews, you're going to get the transcript back, and the transcripts will need editing. So you're going to need time to interview people. You probably want to set up a list of questions if you're doing a review book, you're going to have a list of standard uh, checkpoints of whether or not a product is doing certain things compared to other products. So there's a lot of time and prep that goes into those books. So they're not the fastest books to write. The $7 report, the white paper, is really a cool book to write. It's easy. You can actually take some of your previous work and repackage that. So you might already have some of that done. Just make sure that it's worth people paying $7 for. Because if they pay $7 for something that's fairly common knowledge, they're going to not like you. And the whole point of these little books is to get people to like you, to feel warmly about you, and to feel like they've gotten something of value from you. My recommendation, if you're going to start writing little books, is to do either promotional style ebook or a biggest mistakes top tips type little book. So, 
one of the ways to do this, and this is really what I do, and I've, I've built templates for my own business, is to use a template to write out your book because it's all about the structure. You already know your topic. You just need to know what to put where so that you have a good flow of information that leads people to eventually say, geez, you know, I need to hire this person. I need to work with this person. Let me tell you a little bit about what I have because I'm trying to make things easier for people. I talk to people all the time. They're like, oh, I need a book. And I charge anywhere from $1,200 to $3,000 to write a little book. And I know for most small business people, that's pretty darn pricey. So I put together an actual course that shows you how to write these little books. The course includes two guides to help you write both promotional books and either the top tips or mistake type book. So you get two separate guides to show you how to write those two different types of books. It also includes two templates, one for each type of book to help you lay out the book. And I also did because not everybody is proficient with Word. I did a little video to help you work with the templates, just little things like how the table of contents works and how to put the pictures in there and what to do when the pictures slide around, that sort of thing. I also included worksheets. And the worksheets really help you get down to what, one, your target market needs. The target market worksheet is actually, I think, about three pages of really digging deep into who your target market is and what they're looking for as far as information goes. I have a special how to write your author bio because people get, they tend to freeze up when they're talking about themselves and you don't have to. The author bio, bio is really easy to write when you follow this. And I also have a 15 point marketing checklist because once you have your little book, you're like, well, what do I do with it? How do I tell people about it? This 15 point marketing checklist gives you ideas of where to put your little book, how to put it out there and get people reading it. So the entire course, how to write promotional books, how to write top tips or biggest mistake books. You get the promotional book template. You get the top tips mistakes template. You get the video instructions for the templates. You're going to appreciate that. You also get the target market worksheet. You get how to write your author bio and the 15 point marketing checklist. All of that, the entire course for just $97. That's a good deal. And if you need help with your book, I have email support for you. You can send me an email anytime. I get back to people within 24 business hours. If it's on the weekend, sometimes I'm not checking my email. I'll tell you the truth. I have very lazy Sundays. Uh, but I do get back to you. If you've got questions, I can help you out with that. And I also have a 100% money back guarantee. So if you get the course and it just seems like it's too darn hard for you to do, and it really shouldn't be, honestly, let me know. Let me know that you've tried and we'll get you that 100% money back guarantee. So big profits from little books, just to let you know, it's how to write the promotional books, how to write the top tips, the biggest mistakes books, your promotional book template, the top tips or mistakes template, the video instructions for the templates, target market worksheet, how to write your author bio, 15 point marketing checklist. There's also worksheets within the guides on brainstorming ideas and how to figure out features and benefits. So we have that within the guides too. All of that for just $97. So click the link below and start your book now. Get it out there. You can write these things in as little as an afternoon. I suggest taking a little bit more time, but over the course of a weekend, you could have your first book out there and published. Just click the link below. $97 gets you the entire course and you can start writing your book now. So thanks very much for listening. Here's the deal. They're little books. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be done. Thanks so much for listening in. Take care.